Good morning. I wanted to flip through two journals that are going to be on my Etsy shop. I hope that these are in a good frame. I bought a tripod for my iPhone 6 and it's super cute. But my iPhone 6 is so big and heavy that when I put it in there it tips over when I do finally get it arranged it's too close to what I'm trying to film so it just didn't work so I have it um, hooked up to my big iPod I tripod which I have had to um, rig in all kinds of ways to get it to shoot just where I wanted to shoot and I thought I had it all arranged and then realized I was basing it on the photo setting on my phone which when you switch it to video it kind of zooms in and changes the um, the area that's being shot so I had to readjust it. It only took me about 30 minutes which seems like a lot just to make a 5 or 10 minute video. Anyway I have it and so as long as I don't sneeze or something it should be good. So both of these are going to be in my Etsy shop. This first one is made from a vintage um, board game and I bound it with the cinch machine here and so I have a little bit of a embellishment here old um, one of the game cards that went with the game and it's clown capers and if I remember the um, board game was from 1956 or something like that that's what it said on the um, on the literature so um, fun little thing here and it's really it really is a old vintage game it's it's you can see where it's been loved and played lots so inside you can see um, more of the board game and then I've just added a mix of old and new to add plenty of places to journal to um, smash embellishments whatever you want there's pockets this one is a pocket and then another pocket I've done sewing um, some of its glued some of it sewed there's some flags paper clip flags I put some um, you have scrapbook paper this is watercolor paper tea dyed drawing paper or sketch paper plain paper just lots of paper that you can do a lot of with have some old playing cards in here I had a lot of fun making this and I really wanted to keep it for myself but if I kept every journal I made I would have a whole bunch of journals and nothing in my Etsy shop. There's another little pocket. And some sewing. More cards. Another watercolor. This is an envelope that you can um, remove. It's clipped on here. And it's kind of a two part. You can put something here and then you can tuck stuff into these areas here too. Cards. Another pocket. And this is a um, acetate. You can kind of use it like a dashboard, stick stuff to it, and still be able to remove it. More pockets. And then this is, oh, I like that is, it just was a little bit stuck. And then that is that. So you can see, it's a, it's a substantial journal, sturdy, lots of paper, lots of room to create. Then the next one I have is a made out of a six by nine inch clasp envelope. 
and it has a little key embellishment here and then this just slips over and inside again you have a mix of new and old there's sewing tea dyed stuff um, pockets old flashcards used to make the pockets I love this paper some washi tape it's on a acetate so that you can easily take it with you So a, a little note section, you could pull out and write a little note on it and tuck it back in. It's a tag and pocket. Pocket. And then here's your back pocket where you can tuck personal items or pictures or supplies. This would be a great little travel journal that you could just tuck in your bag and take with you. Oops. So that's that and both of these will be found on my Etsy shop and I will put a link down in the description. Thanks for watching.